Hello everyone, welcome to this video series. Uh, we we have been working on several labs for AZ-104 uh, exam, which is for Microsoft Azure Administrator. All of the labs that we are doing that are available from Microsoft Learning uh, on the GitHub, and I'm gonna give you the link in the video. Um, where we started, we did individual videos for task one, two, three, and four, and for the COVID situation, we really made a small adjustment to the provision environment so that we can have no restrictions or we can really deploy all the VMs with the current restriction on virtual machine core. So that caused some problem at lab four. So we redeployed with slightly modified virtual machine setting one more time. So in the previous lab, I redid all of the steps from one to four again, okay? So in this lab, if you're following, you should have completed all four of them. So in the, so we have configured the lab environment. We configured the hub and spoke using peering. We have three different virtual network. We created peering between one and two and then one and three. We didn't create any peering between two and three. And then we, we check the test transitivity so we can connect to the machine. We have tested that from VM1 to VM2 and VM1 to VM3, okay? Uh, there was no connection between VM2 to VM3 because there was no explicit peering. And then we configured the routing and for the routing we are using VM0 as our router. We have enabled the forwarding of of traffic from that machine and we have configured everything okay so once that configuration was done and our VM0 was uh, working as a router we have conf we have tested the connectivity uh, so now we're going to focus on the task 5 and we're going to implement the Azure load balancer in this particular video so let's get to the task so here we are. So in this task, we'll implement the load balancer in front of the two Azure virtual machines in the hub virtual network. In the Azure portal, search for load balancer and it's same as any other services. You search for the service. So let's go over here and we'll just search for a load balancer. It should come up here. Yeah, it came up. So you just select the load balancer and just like any other service, we would like to have an instance of it. So let's click on the add button. And just like any other lab, we're going to configure this. Uh, we're going to create a new resource group RG4 for this lab. So let's do that. And uh, name is gonna be this one. We are going to uh, deploy in East US because that's what we have been using for the rest of the lab. And it has to be in the same region. Uh, type, we're gonna use public, that's automatically selected. SKU is the standard version, that's what we're gonna, gonna use. Uh, then type, we have already looked at it, right? The SQ standard public IP address create new. Uh, then just get the name of the public IP address. So that would be the name of it. Availability zone. We're gonna select zone redundant. Zone redundant and add IPv6. No, we don't need that. So no, we select it. That's fine. And once that's done. We're going to create a review and create and as soon as the validation is done, we'll click on the create button. And then what is telling us, it, sh it should take about two minutes to uh, finish, finish up with the deployment. Once that's done, we'll go to the resource and we will start configuring the backend pool. Okay and we'll 
do do some some stuff with the health probe so let's not get too far ahead of ourselves let's just uh, wait uh, for the validation has passed so I'm gonna start creating this deployment and I'm gonna pause the video and be back as soon as the deployment is done actually the deployment is already done so almost I didn't pause for like a second or so so we'll just go to the resource yeah and we'll go to the backend pool and we there's nothing in here right now so we are going to start adding stuff here so what do we need to do uh, this is the backend pool name of the backend pool what virtual network this is the one network that we want to put in our in our backend pool IPv4 is the address space that we're going to use virtual machine VM0 so click add VM0 is going to be the virtual machine in our backend pool uh, virtual machine IP address Ten sixty zero four. So it's already selected. Virtual machine AZ one zero four zero six VM one. So get the other one as well. And for this one, I have ten sixty one four. Let's verify ten sixty one four. They all look good. Wait for the backend pool to be created, and then uh, say add. So it's gonna add both of these virtual machines to my backend pool. So the load balancer will now has two different virtual machines where it can distribute the load. So instead of coming to say you have a web app that are deployed in these machines, you have used that. Instead of going to those virtual machines, you're going to provide the IP address of the load balancer and it will distribute the traffic based on your settings. So I'm going to again pause the video as soon as this deployment is done we'll restart okay so that deployment is done so let's come back over here and uh, look at our notification so this is the last deployment that we have done uh, it looks like that deployment is successful so let's go to the resource group so the blackened pool is now created so now we can click on the health probe let's see where is our health probe okay I need to go to our we have we within the resource I need to go to the resource uh, load balancer within the load balancer I can go to the health probe okay so there is no health probe so we got our backend pool so you should be able to see those both of them in here so we have done that so let's go back over here one more time again I'm back with the resource group so go back with the load balancer let's go to health probe that's where we need to be and in the health probe we're gonna add some stuff so let's do add a new health probe uh, this is the name TCP 85 and 2, TCP 85 and 2. So what it's doing is a help probe for TCP protocol. They're coming to port 80 for HTTP traffic. Interval in every five seconds and unhealthy threshold consecutive failures is two. Okay, so that's my threshold. So that's the help probe that we have just created. Wait for that one, then click on load balancing rules and then click add. So here I have got the, got uh, our health probe that's deployment is done so now we can go to load balancing rules so now we have to also create a rule for that so click on that and get the load balancing rule there is the name IPv4 is the version of it protocol is TCP port 80 backend port is 80 and uh, backend pool is BE1 to virtual machine health probe is HP1 so they all looks pretty good to me idle timeout is for 
that's also four selected all looks good disappear is a disabled floating ip disabled disabled and disabled they're all good create implicit outbound rule yes so i think all the setting looks good so click on yes so it should be adding my load balancing rule at this time wait for the load balancing rule to be created click on overview and uh, note the value of the public ip address so let's get it done so that is done let's verify yeah it says save load balancing rule so all looks good so let's go back to the overview and get the public ip address of this machine so i'm just going to copy to the clipboard and i'm going to put it someplace say maybe at the bottom here okay uh once i have this i can go back to the lab and see if there's anything else i need start another browser window and navigate to the ip address so let's go go to the ip address and let's see that ip address is available yeah it says hello world from that particular virtual machine this is from vm1 so look at that so this is the ip address for the load balancer but you're getting a response from the vm1 so let's try it a couple more times let's see if it automatically give something else no it's still giving me sending me to the vm1 okay so what what we'll do go back to the lab where is my lab here's my lab no this is not my lab it's here uh, so verify the browser window displays hello from vm1 that's good open another browser window but this time using the in private mode and verify whether the target vm you might need to refresh browser window to open it again by using it so so what they're saying what we just try to do using the regular window is they said just yeah just open a new browser window and try and then refresh a couple of times and see if you, anything else coming up and uh, for now nothing is changing so uh, what i think they are expecting this vm1 will change to vm0 based on your load but we are not most likely sending enough requests to be able to see that change but as far as the lab is concerned we have configured our load balancer properly and once you have a certain amount of load uh sending to this load balancer if it feels like it needs to send it to vm the other vm it will do it appropriately when it needs when it's needed okay so let's see if there's anything else in the lab that we missed uh, so this window i'm going to close uh but, the, but that's about it so here in this lab what we have done uh, we have configured uh, uh, Azure load balancer again to do that uh, just to recap we went to the load balancer service we selected a load balancer and this just uh, gave you some basic options you really didn't have to configure too much just the name uh, what type of SKU and just uh, needed a public IP address and we just chose zone redundant as the availability zone once that's done that created our load balancer on that one we we have to provide the backend pool so we added two of the virtual machines to the backend pool okay the configuration was also not too difficult and once those uh, ip addresses were added to the to the backend backend pool and then we added the health probe okay and uh, when the helper was done at the last we had to add the load balancing row and that's about it uh, so i think i'm going to end the lab here and i will see you in the next lab where we're going to implement azure application gateway which is a layer 7 feature within the azure environment so see you in the next video please subscribe
good luck with the exam